the link between our finances and our mental health. So we did some uh, research last year. We published our first, um, our inaugural Money and Mind report, mm -hmm. um, and we should be releasing the next one hopefully early in the new year. Oh, and we exciting. can do, com compare, yeah, where people were pre COVID to now where they are post COVID. But um, the findings in that were absolutely crazy. So we found that 48% of people, UK adults, felt regularly stressed about their finances. Wow, that's that, nearly yeah. half. Exactly that. And if we think about the mental health statistics that we all know, it's, it's the one in four. So when we're overlaying these themes of, you know, our finances, that figure is becoming one in two. And, you know, when we talk about our finances, people are talking about anxiety, depression, panic, fear, overwhelm. And it's having a real, real impact on our mental health and wider areas of our lives. So we need to really combat that. So even though nearly half of us are feeling this level of stress, only 3% of us have ever shared those worries with our employer. Now, again, to me, that is crazy because our place of work is where we accrue our wealth. It's where we you know, earn our salaries. We might get bonuses, commissions, our workplace pension, protection benefits, all of these things that make up our remuneration package. So surely our employer would be the first part of call if we were feeling, you know, stress or anxiety or nervousness or had a challenge or a question around our finances. But it just isn't. And it does come back to the fact that it is the last taboo. Now, I have absolute faith that we will, as an industry and a society, crack this because if we think about five to 10 years ago, mental health was not a thing. Yeah. Nobody would have, have signed off sick because you know, nobody would have even been able to ring up their boss and go, Do you know what, I'm just having a really shitty day. I just need some me time. I'm not going to be productive today. There's things going on in my life. I just need to take a personal day. And that, the fact that that conversation has been normalised is absolutely fantastic. Now, don't get me wrong, there is absolutely so much more we need to be doing around, you know, getting rid of the stigma around mental health and stuff. But it, it does give me a lot of faith that we will get there kind of with the other pillars of well-being as well. And I think financially, probably the last one we do need to crack.